Hey there, Keene State. Welcome to this week's edition of the KSC Equinox Preview. I'm the Administrative Executive Editor, Jake Coughlin. Students around campus have had mixed feelings about the college's decision to pay the remainder of the Pumpkin Fest bill. President Ann Hewitt sent out a letter to all students last week addressing her decision to chip in. The letter explained how the funds being used to pay the bill would be taken from a reserve account that has been built up from student conduct system fines. Coincidentally, a tuition raise for out-of-state students was instituted as of last week, but Hewitt insisted that there is no correlation between the tuition raise and the Pumpkin Fest bill. Student body president Bobby Graham said he thought that President Hewitt made the right decision in paying for the bill and that it'll be a good thing for the community and college relationships. Now for a dramatic left turn with absolutely no segue. Keene State's chapter of the Tau Kappa Epsilon Fraternity, or TKE, have been catching some unusual stares around campus this week. You may have seen some members of the fraternity sporting some fancy new bras. Brothers of TKE have been wearing bras around campus, not for breast support, but for breast cancer research. Flyers advertising the fundraising event Bras for Breast Cancer describe breast cancer as the second most common cancer in men and women worldwide. TKE has been participating in the Risque event since 2011. TKE brother Richard Pelcher said that the whole idea is to wear bras over their shirts. Naturally, people will come up and ask them why and they will explain the fundraiser and ask for donations for breast cancer research. Pelcher added that the event typically draws some sizable donations and is certainly a spectacle for everyone on campus for a great cause. 100% of the fraternity's donations will go to the Susan G. Coleman for the Cure Foundation. Speaking of great causes, last week's issue of the Equinox addressed how important it is to stay mentally healthy as it is to stay physically healthy over the course of a long semester. This week's editorial addresses the same issue, but in a different light. The Equinox learned this past week that the link to the suicide referral form on the Keene State College Counseling Center's website is currently broken. With such an important form being unavailable for students, the Equinox decided to address the Counseling Center through our editorial and ask that the website be fixed immediately. And while some students are getting ready to take a break from their stressful semesters, a handful of film production students are just getting started. Professor Johanna Derry's film production 3-4 class has been working on a student film since day one of the academic year. The film titled Speak Easy is about three unlikely friends who form an underground bar in the not-so-distant future in which the United States has reinstated prohibition. The Speak Easy crew has spent months planning shoots, grabbing locations, and casting both amateur and professional actors to be in the film. Director of photography Tyler Krupa said that the team's biggest goal is to make sure the film doesn't look like a college film. Co-director Joe Fusco said that they are hoping to have the film completed by the end of the semester to be shown publicly and hopefully on bigger venues. Speakeasy can be seen at the end of the year film showcase scheduled for May 2nd. And be sure to check out Speakeasy on Facebook as well. And that's going to do it for this, this week's edition of the KSC Equinox Preview. I'm the Administrative Executive Editor Jake Coughlin. You stay classic, Keen State.